Hi yogis! Today we'll be doing a yoga class for our abs and working out our core. I hope you enjoy the practice. Let's get started. Today we're going to start on our backs, but we'll start very gently. We won't go super quick into core work. What we're going to start with is just some grounding and diaphragm work because I find that, well, first of all, if you don't know what the diaphragm is, it's a very big muscle here that's located at the bottom of your rib cage, which really um, changes your nervous system to be more relaxed or more stressed and really, really activates and helps our belly and digestion to work properly, to cleanse itself, to be active and not tense or, or too active. You just want to make sure that it's gently released and ready because when your diaphragm isn't working properly then it affects your core muscles. If your diaphragm is tight, which, which can happen from slouching, bad posture, stress, shallow breathing, then your core won't work as well um, too. So let's start with some diaphragm work. What does that mean? We're going to be in this laying down position with our legs um, hips distance. And you're going to place your hands at the top of your thighs, fingers facing in. And you can get a really nice press here. What we're going to practice is a very light Uddiyana Bandha, which is a, a core lock, energy lock. But it's going to be really gentle in order to give our diaphragm a, a little massage. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take a couple regular breaths on your back just to ground and center. Full deep breaths through the nose. And then on your next exhale, make sure that it's fully released. And then you're gonna hold the exhale, press your hands against your thighs, and roll your lower back onto the ground so that your belly kind of shoots up into your rib cage. Finding this kind of suck in position here on the end of your exhale, and you're going to hold it for as long as is comfortable. And when you feel ready to release, you're just going to inhale and relax. And then take a couple deep breaths between each round. We'll do a couple of these. against your thighs and suck the belly in. If it feels okay to you, you can add a gentle massage here. So just kind of moving the hips up and down, forward and back, just getting to little nooks and crannies of the diaphragm as well. And then when you feel ready, release and inhale. Do one more round, so take a couple breaths in between. And then on the next exhale, release completely, press your hands into your thighs, suck the belly in without actually inhaling. Maybe adding some movement in the hips. And then when you're ready, release and inhale gently. Hope that was okay. Let's get into this core work. All right, so from here, we'll just start with some super body activation. We'll do some star crunches. What does that mean? You're gonna open your body like a starfish and then you're gonna hug your body full all the way for a wind release pose. So we'll do five of these. One. Inhale open, exhale hug. Two. Three. Four. Last one. Five. Hands come overhead, straighten the legs and we'll go into some single leg lifts. If this is too much strain on your neck, which can also be a cause of a weak core, 
You can let the head down and just do the legs. If you want that extra activation, so you're gonna lift the upper back off the ground, you can stay looking towards your belly button. Stay focused, stay breathing. You okay, y'all? <laughs> Couple more seconds. And then we'll lower the head down and legs will come up to 90 degrees. Take one deep breath here before we move forward. We'll flex the toes. If you have um, less flexibility in your, in your hamstrings, you can bend the knees slightly just so that you're comfortable in the pose. It's not about the hamstrings here, it's more about the core. And then from here, we'll go into some toe taps. Active exhales as you lift, either through the mouth or the nose. Little bit longer. Three more seconds. And release your legs back down to the ground. Keep them bent. We'll go into some bridge lifts for gentle activation between our super activations. So hands will be by the hips. And let's lift the hips as high as we can, making sure that the legs stay squared. Hips distance. Pressing your feet into the ground. Lift as high as you can. Breathing deeply. Feel that core activation on the exhale and how as you activate your core that it releases tension off of your lower back. On the next inhale, start to lower down. And on the exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Keep going at your own pace. The reason why we're exhaling on the lift is to really activate our muscles as we engage them in lift up. When we exhale, our core contracts and our pelvic floor muscles. So that in turn helps us to lift a little bit higher, to bring in more muscles to work as we lift. And then when we inhale, releasing completely. Do a couple more. Two more. Last one. Beautiful work. From here, we'll go into some crow rolls. So make sure you have some room in front of you, actually. And your head should be like at the top of the mat. So you have room to roll forward. And what we're gonna do is you can take a look for a moment if you've never done a crow roll, is you're gonna bring your knees as high as you can onto your arms and turn your palms up towards the sky. And the legs will stay bent, almost like you're in a reclined crow position. And then from here, you're gonna roll up, place your hands on the ground, up to you if you wanna take a little crow. And then continue, or you can just place your hands, lean weight onto your hands, and then roll back. Okay? You got this. Crow recline. Exhale, roll. Inhale, crow. Exhale, roll. Inhale, recline, crow. Exhale. Inhale. Keep going. If you feel like you're picking up the pace and it's really fun for you, then you can even make the breaths quicker. You could just do exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. So up to you, we'll do a couple more. Keep going. Ooh. 
Last one. And then we'll all meet here in a crouching prep for crow. If you don't have crow in your practice, then we'll move slowly. Stay high on your tippy toes, bringing your knees to the outside of your upper arm. Going for a really beginner crow variation. And then you'll bend onto your elbows, move the weight forward, and just practice here bringing weight onto your hands. If you feel okay to try some extra activation here. So you get here to the weight on your hands, and then maybe you lift one, and maybe you lift the other. Really crucial in crow that your knees are squeezing onto your arms and your arms are squeezing onto your knees so that they're both really actively using their energy to help you lift. Also really crucial that you don't let your energy fall towards the ground. You wanna stay lifted, almost like in cat-cow, which we'll do soon as well. Really lift the spine up towards the sky, lean the weight forward, maybe one leg, maybe the other, Let's try one more time. And then slowly release back down to the ground. Let's lift our hips up high and find a regular forward fold. Take a moment adding some movement just to relax, release any stale energy from the body. <sighs> And then from here, we'll place our hands onto the ground, move our legs back to down dog. Also take a moment here, working out the hamstrings. A couple deep breaths. And then we'll lower our knees down to the ground and find tabletop. Taking some cat cows here, warming up the spine. Inhale, look up, reach the heart forward. Exhale, look down towards your belly button, maybe connecting chin to chest. Also spine warm up, also core warm up. We've already done a lot of core work, but still, before we go into the deeper, more, more intense postures, we still wanna get this nice little gentle warm up. Deep breaths. And then we'll go into some quadruplex crunches. Inhale as you lift right hand up and left leg back. Exhale as you connect knee and elbow beneath the body. Inhale up. Exhale down. Keep going. At your own pace. Make sure to stay stable with the weight between your standing hand and your standing leg. Couple more seconds. Last one. Let's change that. Move the weight onto your right hand and your left leg. Inhale, up. Exhale, connect beneath. Beautiful work. Active core, active back. Couple more seconds. Last one. And then come back to center. Beautiful. We'll do one more pose here before we go into some sun salutations. I really love this warm up here. It also really activates your core, but also is a really nice stretch for the core. We're gonna come into plank. You knew there'd be a lot of planks in this class, so <laughs> be ready for that. But we'll have some fun here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna slide our right foot underneath our body to the left side, ground in our feet and start rolling our body up towards the sky, left hand up. Getting a nice deep stretch here in the belly region. And then come back to core to the center. And then switch sides. Left leg to the right side. Open up the whole body. Right hand reaches up towards the sky. Exhale, 
back down to center. Inhale, keep switching. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, left leg comes to the right side, open up. Exhale, back to center. Let's do one more on both sides. Inhale, peel the body open. Exhale, back to plank. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Let's take a child's pose for a moment, sitting on your heels. Woo. Forehead to the ground. Giving the hands a little breather as well. Feel free to do any wrist stretches, maybe squeezing and opening the fists. Maybe some hand circles. Maybe just turning the palms up towards the sky. Feel your breath and your belly against your legs. Maintain this heat within your body, but slow down slowly your heartbeat so that you can regain control again. And then let's slowly come back up. Back to downward facing dog. And we'll walk our hands forward. I mean our feet forward. And then roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. To a standing pose. Tadasana mountain pose. Take one deep breath, letting your circulation fall from head to feet again. <sighs> Beautiful work. And let's go into some sun salutations, warming up our solar plexus, our core chakra, our core energy, which is the strongest of all the chakras of all the energy, creating heat and power within our lives. First round will be normal. Every round after that, we'll kick up the pace with some core work. So get ready, get pumped. <laughs> Inhale, the hands come all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Look forward. Tuck the belly in just like we did in that diaphragm massage. Hands to the ground. Walk or jump back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Elbows close to the body. Lean your weight forward. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. We won't stay for too many breaths. We'll just do three for now. We got a lot of work on our hands today. One. Two. Last breath. Three. Look forward. Walk or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, coming all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Samastiki, rest. One deep breath, maybe in Tadasana, maybe hands to heart center. Next round. Inhale, hands come all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk or jump. Chaturanga, exhale, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Beautiful. From here, we'll look, slowly lower down our elbows to the ground to find dolphin pose, which is a really great pose. Get a core activation, stretching the core as well. Also in the shoulders. Couple deep breaths here. One more deep breath. And then slowly come back up onto your hands. Walk, step, or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. One breath. Rest between each round. <sighs> Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful. From here, we'll come forward to a plank. And then come down to our forearms for forearm plank. Did that dolphin to prep us for this forearm plank action. Up to you now if you'd want to hold the forearm plank or if you'd like to take some hip dips. Slowly rocking the hips to both sides, activating our obliques, our side abs. Make sure you're still breathing. Moving mindfully, if this is too much for you, then just hold the forearm plank. Or know that you can always take a child's pose whenever you need. Couple more seconds. Let's come back up onto your hands. Down dog, exhale. Look forward, walk, step, or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. One deep breath. Inhale, hands come all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, let's come back to plank and stay here for a moment. Yes. From here, we'll move the weight onto our right hand and find side plank. You can stack the feet or maybe put one in front of the other or maybe bend the bottom leg. Whatever feels good to you, take any variation you need. Three deep breaths here. Keep lifting. Make sure that you're not sinking and collapsing into that right shoulder. One more breath. Let's change sides. Moving the weight to the left hand. Right hand rolls up towards the sky. Couple deep breaths here, you got this. And slowly come back to center. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Woo! Take one deep breath here. Look forward, walk, step, or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful. Let's go into one round of set B. We're gonna come into a chair pose. Inhale, the hands come up and find chair. We'll be here for five deep breaths. Feel that core activation on the exhale, keeping you stable, keep sitting back in your chair, making sure that your knees aren't moving too far forward, but that your hips are moving more back to the back of the mat. Two more breaths. Last breath. Exhale, forward fold. Beautiful work. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Walk, step, or hop. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful. Inhale, right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Get that down dog crunch. Inhale, back up. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale up. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, back up. Exhale, let's bring the foot all the way through our hands, ground in the back foot. Inhale to warrior one. Beautiful. Make sure your hips are towards the front of the room, towards the front of your mat, knees above your ankle not too far forward. If this is hard with the heel on the floor, you can lift the heel, that's okay too. Hands reaching up towards the sky, active core. Let's take three deep breaths here. Two more. Last one. 
Bring your hands back down to the ground to both sides of your foot. Inhale here. Exhale, let's take a chaturanga with one or two legs. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Good work, other side. Inhale, the left leg comes up towards the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale up. Exhale, let's bring the foot all the way through our hands, ground in the right foot and turn the toes outwards. Preparing for warrior one. Inhale, come all the way up. Beautiful. Hips are tilted forward. Core engaged, so we're not sinking too much in the lower back. Knee above your ankle. Three deep breaths. You can stay looking forward or up between your fingers. One. Two. Three. Drop your hands by your foot, both sides. Inhale here. Exhale, chaturanga with one or two legs. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Woo! You did it, guys. Look forward, walk, step, or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Keep the knees bent. Let's take five more deep breaths here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Stand up, hands to heart center. Hands by your hips. Take one deep breath before we move forward. From here, bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, the left leg up towards your chest. Exhale, let's bring it all the way back and turning the toes out, just like we had in the warrior two. So the front toes are still looking towards the front of the mat. Back toes are turning away from the mat. Keeping the legs straight, as if we were going into a triangle pose, but we're gonna do a floating triangle for more core activation. So, feel steady in your feet, legs are straight. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, we'll lean towards the right, towards our front foot. And you can either look towards the left, look up towards your hands, or keep the neck neutral. Inhale, back up. Exhale, lower down to the right. Three more. Two more. Last one. And we'll hold for three breaths. <laughs> one. Two. Three. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, lower the hands and let's change legs. Turning the left toes to the back of the mat, right toes turning outwards, legs are straight, core is already active here, ready for those floating triangles. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, moving to the left. Trying to keep your heart as open as possible, making sure that you're not looking towards the ground. Arms are really activated next to your ears. Inhale up, four more. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale. Last two. Last one. And we'll hold for three deep breaths. Keep those arms straight and active. Keep turning that heart outwards towards the sky. Two more deep breaths. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, lower the hands and let's come back to the front of the mat. Beautiful. Inhale, the hands come up towards the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Beautiful. 
From here, we're gonna open our legs wide, preparing for an arm balance called Firefly. If it feels difficult or the hamstring flexibility isn't there for you, you can do a bent leg Firefly or you can do a shoulder press. So I'll show you all the variations and then you can try if you wanna take a look for a moment. So the legs are as wide as your mat. And you're gonna slowly start to walk your hands through your legs as much as you can so that you can kind of scoop your shoulders underneath. And it's okay if the legs are bent here. From here, you're gonna place your hands on the ground behind your feet. As you sit slowly, you'll place the whole palm of your hand on the ground. From here, you're leaning onto your hands, start looking forward and start to straighten your legs. Two options. Straight leg firefly, bent leg firefly, or you can totally bend your legs together to find shoulder press, okay? You can also play around with it and try doing all of them. <laughs> Keep trying. Really trust yourself, even if you're here, just try leaning the weight towards one side, lifting one leg. Maybe move the foot down, change sides. Just try practicing to put weight on your hands. That's already a good first step. If you fall on your face, it's an even better first step. <laughs> That's how we learn. Let's all try one more time. If you're with me, we're really squeezing our shoulders underneath, feeling strong in our fingertips. Start to look forward, lean back in your hips, but lean forward in your feet. Point, 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 press into your hands. Lift your spine up towards the sky. Woo! And then let's sit. Beautiful work. Yofi. Legs are in front of us. We're gonna go for staff pose. It's a really active pose, but it looks very simple. The legs will be super flexed, hands by your hips. Use your hands to help you find extra length within your upper body. Immediately, you should feel your core really active to help you preserve this beautiful tall posture. So normally, we're just slouching. When we slouch, we give up on our core, we give up on our diaphragm, and all of the closeness takes over. So we're fighting that here. We're fighting that with length, with an open heart, with open shoulders. Beautiful. Your hands can be however they feel comfortable, next to your hips, fists, fingertips. Whatever feels good, make sure your legs are super flexed. Toes towards you, hands by your hips, length, length, length. The only thing relaxed here is your neck and your head. We'll take five deep breaths here. You can close your eyes, that feels nice. Three more breaths. Last one. And then we'll move our hands slightly behind us. Fingers are still facing forward to prepare for reverse plank. The goal here is to get your toes to the ground, lift your hips as high as possible. The head can stay neutral or lean back. We'll take five deep breaths here as well. One. Two, feel that core activation. Three. You got this, keep pushing the hips up. One more breath. And slowly come back down to a seat. Beautiful work. Let's get into boat pose. In our boat pose, we'll bring our legs towards us. Make sure you have nice long length in your spine, heart open, shoulders back. Once you feel really comfortable here on your sit bones, you can remove your hands. If this feels comfortable, you can start to lift your legs, but make sure you're not lowering back onto your lower back. <laughs> make sure you're staying on your sit bones and that your heart is still lifted towards the sky. We'll take five deep breaths here as well. One. Every inhale, find more length. Every exhale, strengthen that core. Two, three, keep lifting the legs towards your body. Four, five, let's 
cross the legs, right over left, and lift the whole body for a second. Whoop. <sighs> Takes a lot of core to do that. It's a really great practice, and it's also very, it's just for a second, you don't have to hold it like an arm balance, just a little whoop, maybe even just a little hop, whatever feels good to you, even if you don't lift and I, you're just pressing into the ground, I'm happy. <laughs> Let's do one more boat hold. Finding your position again, feeling comfortable on your sit bones. Heart reaching forward, exhale, contract your core. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Let's cross left over right, lift the whole body one more time, and sit. This time we'll come back into both, but we'll add some extra core activation. So legs are coming up, let's bring hands to heart center, and we'll add some twists. Tap, tapping your fingers to both sides. Active exhales, just like we did in the toe taps at the beginning. Either through the mouth or through the nose. A little bit longer. And then we'll place our hands behind our back. Get comfortable here. And we'll do some leg extensions in a supported bridge. So your hands are close to your body. Make sure you're grounded on your sit bones. And then you'll just reach the feet out and lean back. Exhale, lift back up. In. Active exhales. Beautiful. Try to work slowly so that your core has time to activate. So it's not just like a sporadic movement, like, okay, I'm doing it. You want to work slowly so you can feel that core getting engaged. Reach out as far as you can and contract inwards as much as you can. Big movement, little bit more. And then relax. Take a moment in a seat, any seat you want. It could be a child's pose, it could be thunderbolt, it could be just a regular easy seat like I'm doing. Let's take three deep breaths here just to ground and regroup before we push to the end of our practice. <sighs> Feel the heat we cultivated within our body, the energy, the strength. Take one more deep breath. And then I'll give you a choice now to choose between headstand, shoulder stand, or a bridge like we did at the beginning of the practice. So I'll show you the three options. You have bridge, you have shoulder stand, or you have headstand. You can do any variation of headstand. I'll do it with my Hand on the ground and tripod. And you don't have to get the straight leg. You can if you want, but you can keep them bent as well. Three options. All of them include core activation, but I want to get some inversion practice today at the end of our class. So choose whatever suits you. I'm going to go into headstand. You do you. Let's do this. <laughs> We'll hold whichever inversion you chose for five deep breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Slow 
slowly lower down of whatever inversion you chose. And let's all meet each other on our backs. Hmm. Great work. First of all, let's come into a reclined twist just to release a little bit of tension from the back and core region. So you'll cross right leg over left and then let the foot legs fall towards the left side, looking towards the right. Feel the abdominal organ massage you're getting within this deep recline twist. So every breath you take, all the organs kind of go over each other. It sounds really weird, but it's a really great thing. It really stimulates and activates your digestive system, massages it, as well as the diaphragm, which is what we spoke about at the beginning. It's crucial to your core work to have a really released and active diaphragm. here and then we'll slowly move to the opposite side coming back to center left leg goes over right let the legs fall towards the right side looking towards the left deep breaths, embracing this juicy deep twist, and then slowly come back to center. Let's come into happy baby, grabbing the outside of our feet, sole of the feet towards the sky, pressing down onto your feet to bring your knees closer to the earth. Rolling down your tailbone to the ground so that your back feels really steady and sturdy on the ground. And feel free to rock right and left. Also massaging and using your core to create this movement. Also getting a nice little back massage at the end of our practice. Beautiful. From here, we'll bring our feet together and then we'll let them fall down to the ground to find reclined bound angle or reclined butterfly. And just as a last push before we finish, we'll do some butterfly crunches. So your hands will come over your head. You're like, no more crunches. <laughs> the last push, active exhales, you're gonna reach through to your feet as if you wanted to get to your feet or touch your feet. You can do full breaths, hands overhead, hands come forward, or you can keep the hands forward and just do mini taps here. Keep going. Little bit longer. And totally release. Let's place our right hand on our belly and our left hand on our heart. And just take a couple deep breaths here. Feeling relaxed, feeling your heartbeat, feeling the activation and energy flowing through your body. Coming back to your breath. And if you choose to, you can stay here for Shavasana. 
Or you can open up your legs and hands to find a regular Shavasana posture. Whatever feels good to you. We'll finish off our class here. One minute in Shavasana and then finishing off together. Focus on your breath and the movement of your breath. Feel your belly rising and falling. And noticing how that helps you feel more relaxed and release any tension from the body. Let's take a couple more full deep breaths here. Filling up the body with new oxygen and releasing completely, feeling your belly hit the ground beneath you at the end of that exhale. hands and feet. Bring yourself to a comfortable seat. <sighs> Any comfortable seat that suits you, try to keep the eyes closed to preserve that Shavasana energy. <sighs> Take a couple deep breaths here at the center. Feeling tall in your spine, heart forward, shoulders back. Active core, helping you feel stable in your seat, stable in your posture. And then we'll bring hands to heart center. Thank you so much. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Felt your core really ignited and fired up. If you did, please leave a comment down below, like the video, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye.